jumping exercise for IGP. Um, jumps, dumbbells, and A-frame are very, very complex exercise for the dog to learn. And it's very expensive for competitors to lose points on. And so, as always, I like to break it down into smaller exercises. For the jump over the one meter jump, I teach separately the dumbbells that you guys will be able to see in my um, videos that I will call retrieves um, and then also the jumping itself. While uh, many dogs, so Dobermans don't have issue jumping, but if you teach it in, inappropriately and if the dog gets hurt in training, it becomes an issue, which is always, um, which is often uh, a problem with uh, a lot of other breeds as well. And I see that in training and I see that in trials where the dogs telling the helper, the handler, that they don't want to jump. And so it's very, to me, it's very unnatural because dogs, they love moving around, jumping and running. So this exercise should be very easy for a dog to perform. But let's set it up correctly. So my focus in jumps. So again, dumbbells and retrieving is a completely different exercise. We'll talk about it in a uh, appropriate video. Hey, leave it, leave it, good boy. And then jump itself. What I do and what I focus on is that the dog needs to understand how to jump properly so it doesn't get hurt. And a lot of people focus on the height. I focus on the width. So to me, a Doberman doesn't have an issue of jumping over very high um, jumps or walls, but uh, the dog needs to know to stretch. And so when I set up my jumps, uh, you'll see behind me in a second, I usually do two. I have two jumps and they are really low, but they're spread apart. And as I train, I spread them further away and further away. The key to this exercise is to keep fun. So the dog enjoys doing this. And what I teach, so one another thing. So first thing is that the dog needs to learn to stretch when it jumps. So it's not the height, it's the width that you focus on. And second, I always teach the dog to come back this way, which saves me a lot of points in trial if my dog knows to always come back over the jump to me. It can't go around. So I don't teach it separately. The, my exercise is not complete when I threw the dumbbell or the toy over that side. My exercise is when com complete, when the dog returns. So you will see how I do this. But before we start, I want to tell you what I'm using. I'm not using the uh, regular equipment that are used in trials because it's usually metal frames or wood frames and dogs get hurt and plus I can't carry it around. So what I do is that I buy the poles for the electric fence. You can buy it in any um, uh, home improvement stores and I use PVC pipe. You need to cut the pipe about five feet long, uh, two tubes. So overall I need four of those and two five, meter, uh, five uh, feet long PVC pipes. And here's how my setup works. You can see behind me. Plus. So you can see my setup. I have two jumps. They're spread a little bit. They're not too high. This is our first time doing this. And so I want to make sure my dog understands um, and uh, just focus on jumping over and back immediately. So this is very important. So the dog learns to just jump over. That's why it's not spread too far apart because we just started and I need him to know not to step over it and not to do one at a time, but do over over both of them and then grab the toy and always come back to me. This is what we focus on at the beginning. Let's try, come on. Jump. Yes. Jump, 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 jump. No, 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 no. You need to jump back. Good boy. Good boy, yeah, very good. Very good, very good. Hi, 
I no. As you can see, he he was trying to go around it, returning, and I gave him harsh command. No, so he knows this is not allowed. This is very bad. And then as he returns, I tag with him a little bit, so he knows this is what we want. Okay, we're gonna try again. Lots. <clears throat> so again, since uh, it's our very first time, I'm not as concerned about him stretching. Um, I'm more concerned about him figuring out that I want him to go over and back. That's the main thing. And then once he gets this, we'll try a couple of times. Then I'll be able to start separating the uh, poles a little bit further away, so forcing him to kind of stretch more and more. Um, and then as we have that, we can raise it a little bit higher. But overall, I do not train over one meter jump in my preparation for any trials or anything. It just, it's always the two of them and the further apart so he knows how to stretch. Because um, in training for competitions, we do uh, make our dogs jump a lot. And it's uh, a lot of pressure on their joints and I don't want that on my dog. And I never had issues with my dogs jumping over. Uh, in the trials so to spare the dog's joints and keep it easy simple and fun for them I recommend using two jumps and uh, keep it fun for dogs so they can enjoy this as much as you do happy training Sit. jump yes jump good Molly. all right push Jump. Good. All right. 
No. Jump. Good boy. Hey, ah, no. Jump. Good. Alright. Jump. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Jump. Woo. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Jump. Good boy. Jump. Yay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy.